Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Hippie Fling by Superbrand Surfboards. So the hippie fling I've been riding is a 5.6 and it comes in at 5.6 by 20 and a quarter by two and a half and exactly 31 litres. So the hippie fling is a new model that's come out recently by Super and it was based off a really popular model they had called the fling. Um, so I think the fling was a really, really popular model for like really small average beach break conditions like around, you know, knee high or one foot. I think it had a bunch of team riders that were riding it and really enjoyed it but they felt the Ball River really wide tail was quite limited when they get a section or they wanted to surf with a bit more kind of performance. Um, so what they did was they pulled the tail in and I think they brought it off a tail um, off a model they had called the Unit. So it's got a bit of a hip, as you can see through here. So it's quite wide, the board holds a lot of volume, comes through, there's a bit of a hip and it comes into a slightly narrower and square tail, which allows you to surf a bit more performance off that back end. So if you get a section or a steeper wave, uh, you're able to surf to your full kind of potential. Um, and flipping over the hippie fling, on the bottom, it just has a single concave that comes through the board. And there's actually quite a deep double concave. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. There that comes through the fins. And it just has a V that comes off the back end of the tail that would just allow this really kind of wide tail area to stay quite maneuverable um, and make that kind of rail to rail transition and turning nice and easy. So I've been surfing the hippie fling for a while now. I actually went up to the Gold Coast to pick it up off Super and we were surfing Snapper Rocks. It's not a secret spot, so I'll name it on camera. And it was really, really fun. It was about two to kind of four foot, but howling on shore. It looked absolutely horrible and no one was out. Um, I took this out, I see a lot of sections of the high tide were running and this thing was just mental, especially the smaller ones that would kind of hug the bank. Um, this thing has a lot of volume. As you can see, it's really like the front half of this board almost looks like a mini mouth. So there's a lot of width and volume under your chest. It just makes paddling into waves really, really easy. So I was just kind of getting into everything. And then when you'd want to get down sections, like down the line and have a lot of space, all this foam under your front foot just made that really, really easy. Um, but what I really enjoyed, especially on that wave, it's quite a performance wave, and when you get a section, you want to surf to kind of your best, you know, performance. Um, this tail that pulls in, so as I mentioned, it's a bit of a hip, and it pulls into a slightly tighter tail that's much narrower than the previous fling. You're still able to do some quite kind of critical surfing and surf like you were on a performance shortboard, which I really enjoyed because a lot of these kind of smaller surfboards, um, they make you know surfing really average conditions really good. You've got this volume, you can get into waves and it's really easy, but you get that section you really want to kind of let loose. That they're a bit limited in that area because of these you know wide tail areas that make surfing a little bit more difficult. So I really enjoyed the hippie fling, that wasn't quite the case. Uh, in the Hippie Fling, I actually rode the F8 by Futures. For those that are familiar with the ride number system, uh, they have a ride number of 5.2. They're actually a speed controlling fin. I generally wouldn't ride them in a smaller kind of board like this. I'd normally ride a speed generating fin, but these felt really nice and I enjoyed them. I also checked out the AM2 and I also checked out the Jack Freestone generation fin and they both felt really good too. But I really enjoyed this. The board had a lot of natural speed and made surfing quite easy. Um, and this Finn just kept, you know, the control of the speed and turning that really easy and I really, really enjoyed it. fling I've been riding is 31 litres. Um, in my performance kind of shortboards, I generally ride around 29 to 30 litres. So this is one to two litres above what I normally ride. Um, and it felt spot on. That little bit of extra foam made paddling really easy. And especially in some really average summer grovelly surf, when we're talking about waves in kind of, you know, the knee to waist high range, just made surfing really easy and really fun. Uh, overall, I think the hippie fling is really for anyone. A beginner surfer, this is really easy to surf. There's a lot of foam in the board. The front end looks like a mini mouth. And you know, if you're slowly progressing and you want to turn, you want to do some pivots in the pocket, you've got this tail that makes surfing a little bit easier. Uh, if you're an intermediate to an advanced surfer and you want something to make those really average summer conditions a lot of fun, 
this is it. It paddles into everything. And when you get that section that stands up, you can still jam it in the pocket. You can still turn and really enjoy yourself. Uh, I've really enjoyed checking out the Hippie Fling. It's been a lot of fun to surf and hopefully you get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. If you like what you saw, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could hit like. Uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. Um, beyond what we're doing here on YouTube, we also have an Instagram account which we're keeping pretty active with. You'll find it on Instagram at the surfboard guide and on there we'll be posting stuff about boards we have, immediate stuff about our experiences with them. We'll also have a chance to maybe connect with other people that have an experience with boards that you may be interested in. Thanks so much for watching.